Allah. Next one, also do it. Hatanil Melakatani. Melakatani. Okay, what was the translation of the first? Liman Hadanil Miftahani. To for whom these two keys belong to. And what will be the next one? To whom or to whom these two spoons belong to? What will you say in Urdu? Ye do chamchiya. <laughs> what will you say? Okay. Ye do chamchiya kiski hai. Okay. To whom does they belong to? Okay. Good. Brother, all halwa puris, you know. I don't think we need any, uh, any snacks today. There are too many halwa puris coming. Now you should read the following nouns. And give proper vowel signs to all of it. Ready? Sister Arifa? Kalbani, two dogs. Sister Mamuna? Maktabani, two dust. Sister Nas- Nasreen? Kamisani, two shirts. Sister Nusrat? Akhawani. See, we cannot say akh. It has to be akhawani. There is a fata. Two brothers, Sister Sumaya, Mindilani, two handkerchiefs, uh, Sister uh, Fatima, Mr. Atani, Mr. Atani, two rulers, uh, Sister uh, uh, Naima, Uhtani, okay, two sisters, and then Sister Sukhaina, Imra Atani, two ladies, Imra Atani, two ladies, fine, Sister. Zabi, thanni means make muthanna. Thanni means make muthanna in the following words. So what will be your sayarat? Sayaratani hafsa. Tabibatani. Sister Salma. Waladani. Badam Muhammad. Logatani. Bada Hassan. Sadikani. Bada Abdul Samad. Tajirani, Bada Salman, Milakatani, Bada Farooq, Mudarisani, Sister Arifa, Babani, Sister Maimuna, Ismani, and Sister uh, Nasreen, Hazani, and Sister Nusrat, Hatani. I think we got so much halwa puri, I am full. I only need cup of tea. I don't know about you. <laughs> okay. Uh, inshallah, we'll finish this, brothers and sisters. Kam means how many? Al kalimatul jadidatu, new words. Kam. Kam means how many? Al idu. I don't have to explain. Al idu. Huh? But and, uh, truly speaking, al idu means festivity. Huh? Okay. Al ajalatu wheel. Ajalatun jama wheels. Al hayyu sabab neighborhood. What is jama? Ahyaun. That's your jama. Al riyalu, that is currency of Saudi Arabia. Riyalatun, that is your jama. Please keep those in mind. We will be using them in the next lesson. Ar-Raka'atu Raka, part of the Salah What is the Jama? Raka'atun MashaAllah Al-Mistaratun What is Mistaratun? Ruler What is Jama? Masatir What is it? Masatir Got the idea, brothers and sisters? Now, inshallah, we take a break huh? We are back after our be- brief break, inshallah. But, uh, now, from lesson number 19 onwards, we are going to learn how to count in Arabic. Now, counting in Arabic is a little different from English. 
sometimes it seems very complicated. It is a bit complicated. But we will do it slowly, slowly, inshallah. And Dr. Abdurrahim also has in his book divided counting into different sections. In this book, book one, we will only learn from one to ten. That's all. Then when we go to book two, we will learn from eleven to nineteen. And slowly, slowly in other lessons, lesson twenty four, it will complete the counting. We will learn inshallah. But I always tell students because we do not have Arabic environment. You don't hear these things. That makes it even more difficult for us to practice. But please do not be too concerned. Try to understand the rules. And then later on, as you will read and revise, it will sink in more and more. In the beginning, it is not very, very, you won't find it that it's not coming to you very easily. But because we are dividing the numbers in small groups, it's not that bad. Okay? So, we are learning 1 to 10. Huh? Okay. On this side, I have written Wahid, Ifnani. The way they pronounce, it will be, they won't say Wahidun. They will say Wahid. And then Ifnani. Do you see Ifnani? What do you see in the Hamza? Is it Hamzatul Qata or Hamzatul Wasal? It is Hamzatul Wasal. We have to take note of it. That Ifnani, the Hamza is Hamzatul Wasal. If it is it, if, if it comes in the beginning, it is pronounced. If it doesn't come in the beginning, then it is assimilated. Are you with me? We have to remember that. And then, Salasatun. But you will always hear the word Salasa. Uh, like Fatima. Not Fatima to Fatima. Salasa. Arba. Uh, khamsa. Uh, and then, Sitta, Saba'a, Samani. Huh? Now, Samani is a noun, but it has a different construction, which we are not going to study till we go in book three. Huh? It's different noun. It is called Mankus. It is called Mankus. And we are going to study in book three how these nouns are made. Okay? Very easy. But we are not ready for it now. Huh? And then, this a. Ah. This a. Ah. Okay? This a. Ah. And then, ashara. Ten. Huh? Okay? This is, we can practice a little bit. And then, uh, I'll go further from there. Ready? Wahid, Isnani, Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Saba, Samani, Tesa, Ashara. Probably in Somali you have the same numbers. They are different. They are different. Okay. Wahid, Isnani, Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Saba, Samani, Tesa, Ashara. Okay? Now you should say loudly. Ready? Wahid, Isnani, Salasa, Arba, Khamsa, Sitta, Saba, Samani, Tesa, Ashara. Tesa, Ashara. Got the idea, my sister? We will practice little by little huh? to understand it and learn it, inshallah. Now, 
Number one and number two. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Number one and number two. When they come, they are always not. They are always not. Are you with me? They are always not. Always not. Number one and number two is always not. That is why we had a sentence in the last lesson. Kam akhan laka ya Muhammad or ya Mahmud, whatever you say. What was the answer? Li akhun wahidun. Remember? We said, Li akhun wahidun. Remember that, brothers and sisters? Li akhun wahidun. And I asked Brother Salman this question. What is Li? Jar Majrur Shibu Jumla Khabar. What is Akhun? Muptada. Akhun? Muptada. And then what is Wahidun? Naat. Remember, number one and number two will always come as a Naat. As a Naat. Only one and two. Okay? So, kalamani, ithnani, or you will have to join it, kalamani, ithnani, kalamani, ithnani. So what is ithnani? Not. Okay. If you say, indi, kalamani, indi, kalamani, it gives you a, it, it gives you an idea that you have two pen. But if you say Hindi Kalamun, then you have to say Wahidun. Hindi Kalamun Wahidun means I have only one pen. But if you say Hindi Kalamani, you do not have to say Ifnani because Kalamani gives that idea. But when you say Ifnani, then you are emphasizing by adding the Naat. Hindi, Kalamani, Ifnani, then Ifnani is now making it more, you know, emphasis. Okay? But you don't have to. But in case of one pen, you will have to say Hindi, Kalamun Wahidun. Huh? Okay? So Kalamani, Ifnani is a Naat. Huh? Kalamani, Ifnani is a, Ifnani is a Naat. Wahidun is a Naat. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now what happens in number three? This is where the drama begins. This is where the drama begins. Huh? There is a big drama here. Huh? We will try to understand. Okay? We will try to understand. Okay? Because it is different than other things. Okay? Now, how will you say in English? Three pence. The way I said it, three pence. <laughs> How will you say in English? Three pence, three pence. Okay? So three and then pence. Remember? Plural. Are you with me? Plural. Four pence. Huh? Five books. You said plural. Okay? Okay? Remember that compound. Five books, three pens, four houses, six cars. Huh? Now, from three to ten, brothers and sisters, we are only talking about three to ten. We are not talking anything else. Three to ten. Okay. When you start with three to ten, there are two things in the Construction. Okay, I will write down. Huh?
I wrote down two nouns. Look at them. What do they resemble? They resemble mudah, mudahili. Are you with me? They resemble mudah, mudahili. So in other words, Padarasan from 3 to 10, the construction is mudah, mudahili. Huh? Also in English you say three pens. Okay? Uh, there is a plural there. But in Arabic we say Salasatu Kutubin. What do you say? Salasatu Kutubin. Sahih? So what is the construction? Mudaf Mudafile. I am I'm going to do it very briefly, brothers and sisters. I won't rush. Huh? We will repeat this tomorrow also. Okay, but now in this Salasatu Kutubin, which is Mudaf Mudafili, huh? what is Salasatu is the number, Al Adadu, Sahi, number. And what is Al Kutubin? Madud, what is Madud, the thing which is being counted? Huh? Adad, wa Madud, Al Adadu, Wal Madud. Huh? Adad, number, and madud is the thing which is being counted. Uh, fine? You got the idea? If you can write down this, it will be nice. Uh, inshallah. And, and give them a circle so that you understand adad and madud. Okay? Now, let us analyze it. Madud is mudafilehi. Is it correct? Father Abdul Samad, Madud is mudafilehi. And what is it? Is it singular or plural? Kutubin. Plural. So, in other words, Madud will always be plural. What will it be? But only from 3 to 10. We are not going beyond 10. From 3 to 10, this will be the situation. I told you, a drama is unfolding in front of our eyes. Okay? Okay? So in other words, Madud will be plural. Sahih? And Adad? 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 What do you see in Adad? Do you see here? Kutubin? Everything in Arabic is either masculine or feminine. What is it, brother? Masculine. Is it masculine? Kitabun is masculine. What is this I see Tamar Buta there? It's feminine. So this is... Huh? No. If the Madud is masculine, then the numbers are opposite. And don't ask me why. I didn't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's the way the language is. Only from 10, 3 to 10. So, if the madud is masculine, the number will become feminine. In lesson number 19, Dr. Abdurrahim only explains the madud which are masculine. In lesson number 20, we will do the other way around. But what is the other way around? Badasan, if the madud is feminine, the number will become masculine. Okay? So it's very easy. So, I see in uh, <coughs> Salasatu that it is feminine. Do you see it is feminine? Why? You see Tamarbuta there. Huh? Salasatu. Okay, and then I see kutubin, which is plural. 
Okay? Now, Madud will always be Mudaf Ilahi. And then the number will be Mudaf. What will be number? Mudaf. So that's why I said if you are strong in Mudaf, Mudaf Ilahi, this is Halwa Puri, brother. Otherwise, it's difficult to digest. So, Salasatu Kutubin is in the form of Mudaf and Mudaf Ilahi. But mudaf ilahi, brother and sisters, uh, in this case will always be jama. Will always be jama. That we have to understand. Uh, so all the plurals that we have been doing, that will come to use. Okay. Three books. How I say three pens? Salasatu. Aklamin. Got the idea? Salasatu Aklamin. Got the idea? Three houses. Salasatu Buyutin. Three sheikhs. Salasatu Shuyukhin. Are you with me? Three students, male students. Salasatu Tullabin. Huh? Are you with me? Salasatu Okay? Fine. So this is the way it will be. Okay? How about three boys? Salasatu Awla Din. Three men. Salasatu Rijalin. Now our knowledge of plural will become very handy. And you will enjoy it, inshallah. Okay? So. So, I go back again. Mudaf, mudafilai. Madud is always mudafilai. So it is majroor. What about mudaf? I can see there is no al, which is good. Mudaf cannot have al. I see there is no tanween. Mudaf cannot have tanween. Sahi? Now there is one more thing about mudaf. Compared to Mudaf Ilahi. Mudaf Ilahi is Majroor, Majroor, Majroor. Huh? But Mudaf can be Dun, can be Dan, can be Din, depending on the sentence, how it is used. Are you with me? So Salasatu can become Salasata. Kutubin will remain Kutubin. Salasatu Kutubin. Now I make it Salasatu into Mansub. Salasata. Kutubin. Now I make it into Majroor. Salasati Kutubin. Depending. But the Kutubin will remain Kutubin. So what is brother? Number one and Nath Manut. Sahi? What is it? Nath Manur. Number two? Nath Manur. Number is Nath and this is Manut. Sahi? When I come to Three is no longer Nath Manut, but it is Mudaf, Mudaf Ilahi. And the Mudaf Ilahi is always Jama, because that is the thing we are counting. Like pens, books, three pens, four books, uh, five houses. It's okay, so it's Jama. Then Salasatu, the number, if the Madud is Muzakkar, then the number is Mu'annas. And if the Ma'adud is Mu'annas, the number becomes Muzakkar. Huh? We are going to understand it, inshallah. So, how will I say to you, uh, let us try to count 3 to 10 with the book. Ready? Everybody will say loudly, let's do it together. Okay? Starting from 3. Salasatu Kutubin Arbaatu Kutubin Khamsatu Kutubin Sittatu Kutubin Sabaatu Kutubin Samaniyatu Kutubin Tisatu Kutubin Asharatu Kutubin Got the idea? Mudaf Mudafli Okay Now let us count Pens Huh? Let us count 
pens. Now you got to understand one thing, brother. When you write Salah Satun, it's on its own. That is why we said Salah Satun. But when it comes to Mudaf, it becomes Salah Satu. You know that, huh? Tanwin cannot come on Mudaf. Huh? If I didn't, if I wrote it separately, I wrote it Salah Satun. But if I make it as a Mudaf, then it is Salah Satu. Huh? This is, you know, I'm doing this to try to make you as simple as possible. Huh? To make it as simple as possible, inshallah. Okay? Remember, brothers and sisters, I told you, I'm not a scholar. I do not have university degrees. All I have is my experience. Then I went to so many places, and I learned, and uh, the way I found it easy, I want to share with you. And I'm trying to do things, inshallah, which will make it easy for you. Okay, brothers and sisters. So if I say to you, now we are counting pens. So you will start with three. What will you say? Salah satu. Akala min. So salah satu is mudaf. It cannot have al. It cannot have tanwin. Huh? And then akala min because it is mudaf. Ilahi. Majroor. Ready? So salah satu akala min. Arba'atu akala min. Khamsatu akala min. Sittatu akala min. Sabatu akala min. Samaniyatu akala min. Tisatu akala min. Asharatu akala min. You got the idea? This is how we will count. Okay? Ready? Now we count houses. Huh? We are doing a survey on behalf of the city. <laughs> we are counting houses now. Ready? What is houses? Jama? Buyutin. Buyutin. How do you say three houses? Salasatu buyutin. Arbaatu buyutin. Khamsatu buyutin. Sittatu buyutin. Sabatu buyutin. Asaniyatu buyutin. Tisatu buyutin. Asharatu buyutin. MashaAllah, that was good. We are getting better, inshallah. Huh? Now, let us count children. How many children are here in the masjid? So we count it. What is waladun? A boy. What is jama? Aulad. So how, how do I say three boys? Salasatu auladin. Huh? Four boys. Arabatu auladin. Khamsatu auladin. Sittatu auladin. Sabatu auladin. Samaniyatu auladin. Tisatu auladin. Asharatu auladin. Very good. How many men now in the masjid? So Rajulun. What is the jama? Rijalun. So how will I say three men? Salasatu Rijalin. Arbaatu Rijalin. Hamsatu Rijalin. Sitatu Rijalin. Sabatu Rijalin. Samaniatu Rijalin. Tesatu Rijalin. Asharatu Rijalin. Now if you will write it, you know, okay, say about eight of them, inshallah, you will be able to understand it. Huh? It's not difficult. We will do it now and we will repeat it tomorrow. Huh? I will repeat this lesson tomorrow, inshallah. Now we go to our main lesson. Al-Mudiru. Kam taliban jadidan fi faslika ya shaykhu. Brother, what is Taliban? Tamiz. MashaAllah, we'll remember. Huh? Always singular. Mansu. Indefinite. That is our Tamiz. What is Jadidan? Naat. So how will you translate this? How many new students in your class 
O Sheikh, O Sheikh, how many students are there in your class? We will say how many students are there in your class. Okay? What is the answer? Fihi. Huh? Fihi. What is Fihi, brothers and sisters? Chahar Majru. So Shibu Jumla came uh, in the beginning as a khabar. Okay, brother, if the if I got my khabar, then where is the muptada? Asharatu only. Huh? Asharatu is your muptada. Wahua mudaf. And then Tulla bin mudafilehi. And do you see Jududdin? It matches Tulla bin in number and in gender and in in the construction of indefinite. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? So Jududdin is the Naat. MashaAllah. MashaAllah. Mudir says, Min aynahum. Min aynahum. Where are they from? Akulluhum. Min baladin. Wahidin. If I remove a brother and sisters, from there, then the sentence is Kulluhum Min Baladin Wahidin. So what is Kullu? Kul Mubtada Wahua Mudaf. And whom? Mudafili. Kullu will most of the time come as a Mudaf. Huh? Remember? Allahu ala kulli shayin. Kulli shayin. Okay. Kadirun. Okay. So, kulluhum is your, kullu is your mubtada, wa huwa mudaf, and hum mudaf lehi. Min harjar baladin isam majroor. Char majroor, shibu jumla, khabar. And what is wahidin? Naat. See? Baladun wahidun. Baladin Wahidin. Eh? Naat has to follow the manut. Okay? MashaAllah. La. No. Hum. What is hum here? Muftida. See now? Damirun munfasirun. Remember? Huwa huma hum. Okay? Hum muftida. Min biladin muhtalifatin. They are from different countries. Okay, brother? Hum muftida. Min biladin jar majur shibu jumla khabar and mukhtalifatin is what is mukhtalifatin? Biladin mukhtalifatin not not badal but not huh? means they are from different countries. Men whom from them this is jar majur shibu jumla khabar okay and then salasatu tulabin. Men whom, from amongst them, there are three students from Philippine. Salasatu tulabin, minat Philippine. Wa arbaatu tulabin, minal yabani. Wa talibani, minas sini. Wa talibun wahidun, min Malaysia. See how cleverly Dr. Sahib has arranged it. I always admire, you know, look at it. Huh? Three students, Salasatu Tullabin. Four students, Arbatu Tullabin. And then Talibani. He did not use Ifnani. Huh? Because Talibani conveys the meaning of dual. But when he said Talibun, then he used Wahidun. Now what is Wahidun here? Naat. It is your not. Huh? You got the idea, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Afi faslika, afi faslika, tulabun min amrika, naam, fihi, which is jar majur, okay, sabatu tulabin. How many? Sabatu tulabin, seven students min amrika. They are from amrika. Ahum Jududun. What is the meaning? Aden you hum Jududun. Not hum Jadidun. Because if we say huwa, then Jadidun. Huma 
هما جديدان remember brother if I say هو جديد هما جديدان and هم جدود again I say هو جديد هما جديدان هم جدود we have to match it okay so here هم جدود are they new what is the answer لا no هم Kodama. What is Kodama, brother? Opposite of Judud. Huh? This is also plural. What is singular? Kadimun. What is dual? Kadimahni. What is plural? Kodama. Again, what is singular? Kadimun. What is dual? Kadimahni. And what is plural? Kodama. Huh? Fine. Okay. Kam Taliban. Fihi, kam taliban fihi means fi faslika. Fihi means fi faslika. Min urubba from Europe. What is the answer? Fihi hamsatu tulabin. How many? Five. Min in kaltarra. Wa samaniyatu tulabin. Min Almania. What is Almania? Germany. Wa sittatu tulabin min Faransa. Wa tisatu tulabin min Yugoslavia. Wa tisatu tulabin min Yugoslavia. Are you with me? Al-Mudir. Shukran ya Shaykh. Brother, what is shukran? It is Mansur. Okay. Try to remember. Mafulun Mutlak. What did I say? Don't ask me anything more. We are going to learn later on what is Mafulun Mutlak. But I will be pointing out to you. If you forget Mafulun Mutlak, don't worry. I'll be repeating it. Uh, whenever Mafulun Mutlak will come, I'll say to you it is Mafulun Mutlak. How is it formed? How it is used? We will learn later on, inshallah. Uh, brother, it took us only 10 minutes to finish lesson. By tonight we'll finish the book. <laughs> okay, are you with me, brothers and sisters? Next page. I will repeat this tomorrow. Because numbering requires little extra explanation. Okay. But see... The exercise number four, Kitabun, Kalamun, Tajirun, Rajulun, Talibun, Riyalun, Kirshun, Akhun, Ibnun. Huh? Now we have to use from three to ten these Madud. These Madud. Huh? So, Tajirun, what is the jama of Tajirun? Tujjar. So how will I say three merchants? Salasatu Tujjarin. Got the idea? Huh? Okay. Now, Akhun, what is the jama of Akhun? Ikhwatun. So three brothers. Salasatu Ikhwatin. Ibnun, what is the jama? Abnaun. Three sons. Salasatu Abna'in. What will you say? Salasatu Abna'in. Sahi? Inshallah, this is for you to practice. Okay? This is for you to practice. Now we come to Ikra Waktu. Do you see, brother, Ikra Waktu? What do you see? 3 to 10 only. Can we read loudly? Salasatu Tullabin. Arbaatu Tullabin. Khamsatu tullabin Sittatu tullabin Sabatu tullabin Samaniyatu tullabin Tesatu tullabin Asharatu tullabin Got the idea, brother? Alhamdulillah, we, we try to read it even without looking at the book. You got the idea? Huh? Okay. Let's count. Let's count Abna'in. 
Huh? Abla in literally three sons. Huh? Salasatu Abnaim. Arabatu Abnaim. Samsatu Abnaim. Setatu Abnaim. Satu Abnaim. Abnaim. Tesatu Abnaim. Asharatu Abnaim. See? Got the idea? Inshallah. Very good, brothers and sisters. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasanatan wa fil akhirati hasanatan wa kina adhab al-nar. Rabbana hablana min azwajina wa zuriyatina kurrat ayunin. Waj'alna lil muttaqina imama. Rabbana taqabbal minna innaka anta samyul alim. Wa tubu alayna innaka anta tawabu rahim. Subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yadu.